Hello everybody, this is Umair. I'm really excited to create tutorials on Angular 4. I have already created application based or a project based tutorials on Angular JS 1. Make sure to check that out if you don't know Angular 1. But if you still don't know Angular 1, I'll be taking you through all the core concepts of Angular 4 in this tutorial. So what is Angular 4 actually is? If we talk about Angular 2 or if you have worked in Angular 2, you should know that Angular 2 was totally a different kind of framework than Angular 1. Angular 1 was based on MVC model uh, controller and view that we need to do a two-way binding with the model values and the view and then that Angular 2 was launched. Angular 2 was totally based on components we need to create a component in every task that we want to do there wasn't any scope um, in angular 2 so angular 4 is the same concept as angular 2 it is not a much of a different than angular 2 it's a slightly better in performance than angular 2 but it will be uh, same structure and same things like we create components we create uh, directives we create services in angular 4 just like angular 2 so in this tutorial I will be taking you through all the core concepts before starting working with Angular 4 I just want to let you know that make sure to subscribe my channel for stay tuned and get notified for the upcoming new videos on project based and the core concepts of Angular 4. So right now you can see on my screen I have opened a link and that is cli.angular.io and this is the link that you need to open at start I'm going to show you how to install Angular 4 in your system what angular have given to us is the angular cli and it contains a bunch of commands in order to work with angular 4 project so you need to navigate to this link and first of all uh, what you need to do is you need to have npm installed in your system npm stands for node package manager if you install Node.js, then NPM will automatically be installed in your system. But make sure uh, for running Angular 4 in your system, you must have a latest version of Node.js, which is right now 6.10. And you need to have at least 6.9 version of Node.js in your system. And when you will install it, it will install NPM with it. Okay, so just download it and install it or upgrade the previous version that has been installed in your system. NPM version needs to be 3.10 or greater in your system. Okay, so you need to uh, download and install. So I have opened up my WebStorm and I have opened up an empty folder. It's not a project, any uh, kind of Angular project, but it is an empty folder that I have just opened. Okay, so uh, if you want, to, if you don't want to use the WebStorm or uh, want to use another IDE, then you can use CMD for working with the terminal. In WebStorm, I have a pre-built-in uh, terminal, as you can see at the bottom of my screen. Uh, so first of all, I want to check if the Node.js installed in my system or not. So I will write Node-V, and it's going to show me the version of Node.js installed in my system. And you can see that 6.10.1 is the version installed in my system and I want to check the NPM version. So I will write NPM hyphen V. So it's going to take some time and it's going to show me the version of NPM that was installed along with the Node.js. So you can see it has shown me 3.10.9 and this is the latest version of NPM. Uh, both of the things are installed in my system. Now if we go to the Angular uh, cli.angular.io it's gonna show me a few commands that we need to run in order to install angular cli uh, and that will help us to create and manage our angular 4 projects so first of all I'm gonna write npm install hyphen g at angular slash cli so I will write npm install hyphen g at angular hash cli let me check that if it's fine hyphen g add okay so I'll press enter it's gonna take a few time depends upon your system speed so you need to wait and patient for it to be installed in your system so now you can see that um, our ang angular CLI has been installed and this is how you are looking at so it took me around five minutes and 
uh, it has installed Angular CLI in my system. One thing I want to mention here is that I have created an empty folder in a specific directory. Make sure if you are using CMD or a terminal in your system, you navigate to specific directory and then install Angular CLI. But if I navigate to the site uh, CLI Angular, you can see that I used hyphen G. It means that Angular CLI has been installed globally in my system. It means that I don't need to install Angular CLI in every project that I will be creating. It is installed globally in my system and every new project that I'll be creating, Angular CLI will be available in my project. Okay, if you don't use hyphen G, Angular CLI will be installed in a specific folder that you have opened in your terminal CMD or a WebStorm terminal. Alright, now in order to check if the Angular CLI is installed in my system successfully, I will go to my terminal and I will write ng-v and it's going to take some time and show me if the Angular CLI is installed or not. So you can see that it has shown me Angular CLI, Angular CLI version, Node version and OS version in my system. So it means that Angular CLI is installed. Now we are good to go to working with Angular phone in our specific directory that I have just opened. Uh, we have installed Angular CLI. Now we need to create our project. So in order to create our project, we need to use the same command ng new and after that we need to name our project. Okay, so I will write ng new and after that I will name my project. So come in my terminal and I will write ng new and I will write first and I will press enter. So it's going to create all the required packages for running my Angular 4 application. Our project has been created in my first directory and if I go to my first directory you can see that there is a project name called first and along with we have a node modules. If you have worked with Node.js then you should know what is node module but if not the node module contains all the packages uh, required for automating the task for uh, managing the front end and the back end uh, different libraries and packages. So I'll be talking uh, further about it later uh, but for now we can see that all the packages have been installed and if I open up my first project and it has installed the Kerma that is used for writing the unit tests and the package.json for managing uh, the uh, all the libraries and it has a source directory and in this inside the source directory we are going to write all the angular js code uh, for our application now our project has been created now we need to navigate to our project which is in our case we have named our project first so I will navigate to my first project and after that I will write ng-serve to start my application. So I will write in my terminal first I will write cd first and I have navigated to my first project which is like this. This is my directory and inside this directory I have this first and I have navigated inside this first project and after that I need to write ng-serve and it's gonna take few seconds and it's gonna run my application in my localhost colon 4200 so compiled successfully and if I navigate to my browser and I'm going to write localhost colon 4200 and it has shown me a message app works so our application has been started and if I go to my cli.angular.io, it has said me get started. And if I click on this button, it will open up this GitHub link. And in this link, it has shown me all those steps that I have already done up till now. And it has shown me that uh, I need to run this uh, URL in order to open up my application. And this is the 4200. I have opened up the same. And it has also given me few recommendations if I want to change the port. I can use the angular CLI to change the port and I need to write uh, this command in my terminal in order to change the port and the new port will be this one 4201 and by default the 4200 is the uh, port for you to run your application. So what is the benefit of angular 4 and all the files that it has created. If I navigate to my 
uh, project and if I want to show any message inside it let's go to our source and in our source I'm going to open up index.html okay and inside it let's write something like any text and if I save my project it's automatically gonna detect that any change is going to expect it in any file inside this project it's gonna reload my browser okay so I'm going to save this file and I'm going to navigate to my browser and it has automatically reloaded the browser because it detected any change in my file in my any file right now I have just index.html so uh, that was all for the installation of angular 4 and if I open up other files you can see that uh, there are the .ts files this is the typescript file angular 2 angular 4 are all based on the typescript language so we'll be using typescript for working and developing our angular 4 core concepts and different kinds of application